Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Shino, and we're back in Planet Crafter. Hope you're doing good. I'm well. Uh, let's see, last episode we built the uh, memorial area for Zhao Dan. Um, but between episodes, I've been doing a little bit of building over here. Uh, one thing I did is, yep, I went ahead and built a second T2 biodome and got it set up over here no it's not in the most ideal location but uh it works i only need i just wanted it there just for the oxygen i mean that's the only reason i wanted to build it because i think i mentioned a couple episodes ago you know would it be crazy to do that and i thought no it's not um we also had the gas extractor come up so i've built one of those uh so we have the methane there's our first methane cartridge yay uh, so we now have that going, um, and then just built this little walkway out here just so we can get access to it. And, you know, we do, uh, a lot of the stuff that we are, uh, using in this lab, the bio lab, um, we wanted to have, I wanted to have closer to this area. That's why I have that over here. Um, so we can, uh, get those methane cartridges. So, all right, let me empty out my inventory and we'll get started on this episode. So I am desperately running out of space in my inventory system, so we're going to have to work on that um, pretty quickly. Um, but for now, let's figure out what we need to do to increase our score. Oxygen is still concerning me a little bit. We don't really have anything else for oxygen except for the veg tubes, uh, building more of the biodomes. Um, but that, that, just seems, that just seems like a waste. So one of the things that I would really like to get to um, would be the spreader. Let's go down and take a look here. So we already did the flower spreader T2. Um, the tree spreader at 65 tons of biomass. Um, I think it's going to be the next thing that's really going to help us out a lot. So. Let's work on this episode of increasing our biomass production as much as we can. And I think that'll help us out. So let's take a look at our power situation first. We still have 211.9. So probably, probably need to look at doing another, uh, do another nuclear reactor. Uh, but for generating biomass, that's 17. Uh, flower spreader T2. Yeah, looks like flower spreader T2 is going to be a really good choice for us. Um, it's not too bad on power either, and it'll help out on our oxygen. And I think I do want to try to get probably at least one or two more algae generators going as well. So uh, that's our course. That's our uh, course of action for this episode. So let's get some resources gathered up and get started. And just like that, we're getting another super alloy uh, meteor shower. So that's nice, because we're going to need some super alloys. But we have quite a oh, we have quite a bit already. Oh, goodness gracious! Can you get through? There we go. All right, let me wait for this to pass. Okay, I already have a lot of super alloy, but I gotta admit it, it's kind of nice just wandering around out here and finding it laying around. <laughs> Alright, let's get this algae generator in. I'm gonna put it out over on uh, this side, I believe. So let's do just here, and we'll do that. And I can't place it while I'm underwater. That's fine. See if I can get out of here now. Here we go. There we go. So that'll give us another another algae generator. Probably ought to go ahead and harvest these up while I'm here. Hey, looky there. So some of the stuff that's building here, uh, we are beginning to see zeolite. 
forming along these rocks. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I was just looking to see if there's any more. Uh, I know a lot of that uh, super alloy fell. Uh, but I didn't see where it was all coming in at. So just going to run around. There's some more zeolite there. Nice. There's some more here. Excellent. Just looking, just taking a little bit of a wander around here, seeing what else we can find. Definitely don't mind finding the zeolite. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> it's okay, we got a door right here. There we go. Okay, so what's the next thing we need to build is going to be the uh, flower spreaders. So we're going to need more fertilizers and some water bottles. And that is another meteor. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wow, we've been getting a lot of meteor strikes here. Real, Just one right after the other. Okay, so let's get what we need for... For that, let's see. Fertilizer, I know we're going to need. Let's drop off the algae over here. There we go. Let's grab the fertilizer. I think it's two fertilizers we need. And then what else do we need for that? We need uh, water. There we go. And I think this next flower spreader, since we're getting a little full in that area, we may start putting flower spreaders out in other areas. Uh, for example, probably, probably put one out here. As long as we don't get hit. There we go. Rocks all over the base. Let's get a flower seed for that. And we should have Tuska, yep. All right. Let's see what that's doing for us. Still creeping. Still creeping. I'm not too worried too much about the heat and the pressure. All that seems to be going pretty good, but oxygen just doesn't seem to be moving at the rate that I think it needs to. Um, and I don't think, I know we can do a biomass rocket, which is what the next thing we're going to do is going to be uh, for our final kind of move to getting more biomass. So just going to take a look at our different satellites. Yep, yeah, looks like biomass rockets. So a fertilizer tree bark and a seed lerma so let's get that gathered up okay i've got everything i need actually for two rockets so i just want to get a quick look uh it looks like we're generating at uh, uh 1478 grams per second 1478 grams per second and i've got enough to do two rockets each one's a thousand multiplier, and these things do stack. Uh, so we are going to do two rockets, two biomass rockets, and we're going to try to do this pretty quick here. You ready? So as soon as we hit launch, it should go ahead and give it, and then we can do our second one. Oh, well, let me hit it. There it goes. Where'd that one go? <laughs> got, 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 there it is. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, I had heard that was a thing. I just wanted to try it and see. <laughs> 
Oh, mercy. Okay, it's gone. Uh, it still classifies as being up into orbit. That's just a, I just think that's hilarious, but I just wouldn't do that. So we were looking at 1378. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> Oh. That cracks me up. Yeah, look at that. 4434 now grams per second on our biomass. So that's moving in a pretty good clip there. And that and we are, I mean, oxygen's doing not too bad. Uh so that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't think I've got the stuff to do another rocket, but uh, it's kind of nice. Let's go back inside here so that way we get the effect of uh, interior lighting so we don't get the green haze, but we can still see outside and all the green particles falling. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm still giggling about that. Okay, so what else can we do? Uh, let's see. We've got... I'm trying to think what else is going to produce oxygen for us in large quantities. Yeah, so besides doing another biodome, um, besides doing another biodome, yeah, I think that's about what we've got for now. Thought we were getting another meteor shower. Doesn't look like it. All right, so let's think about a little more building that we can do on our base here. Uh, one of the things I said I wanted to do was to move the ore extractors a little bit closer. Um, so that might be a thing for us to work on, but we're going to have to get our inventory cleared out a lot more. So let's see how much cobalt we can find. We may end up... Yeah, let's take that cobalt. Because that's the thing I'm most lacking on right now is cobalt there's a piece here there's a piece of aluminum grab it there's another piece definitely want the aluminum right now uh, I actually have an overabundance of aluminum it's kind of a funny situation. I never thought I would be in, in that I would be needing a uh, that I would not be needing aluminum or super alloy, uh, but that seems to be the case right now. All right, what can we do here? We can make need silicon and titanium. Silicon and titanium. More silicon. Just trying to use up some of this, some of these items that we have an overflow of inventory because we're going to have to make some space. Titanium, magnesium. Titanium, I think I saw magnesium in here. Oh yeah, lots of it. Okay, don't think I can do another one. Yeah, I need more titanium. And I don't think I have any overflow of titanium right now. But, super alloy, man, we have a lot of super alloy going on. So let's get that dropped off. And I think aluminum is overflowing as well. So let's get that dropped off, and I know that stuff, everything else is. Let's go ahead and make another oxygen container. And yeah. Everything else, let's drop into here. And then we're going to go move our ore extractors. So hopefully we got enough space in our inventory. If there's if these things are actually, I'm not going to worry about the. It'll let me. No, it won't. So you do have to empty out the inventory first, or you can deconstruct it. So let's do one at a time. And we're going to see if we can get these things to go. 
right back here along the back side. Can we get these to connect? Not really. They will there. But too high over here. All right, so let's see if we can get this to go. Can I get it to break loose from there? <laughs> no. So I'm not going to be able to attach it. That's kind of a bum deal. Really hoping I was going to be able to attach it. So, looks like they're going to stay over here. And that kind of stinks. I was really hoping to move those. Yeah, because my, my thought, my original thought was I wanted to have them just hanging right out here along the back side. But no chance. Okay, let me gather up a few more of this cobalt. I know that's one of the things I need quite a bit of. So let me gather up some more cobalt. And I'll be back. Alright, last thing we're going to do. This episode, let's go ahead and build us another nuclear reactor. So this will be number four. Uh, let's get... Or these put in. Two. Three. And. Four. And then we're going to build this nuclear reactor. Right here. Okay. So that's our fourth set of T3. T2. So we still got another level to go, don't we? Is there a T3 nuclear reactor? Let's go and take a look. Let's take a look first at our power. That should put us at, yeah, 477 available. Let's see. Is there another power generation. I don't, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we are at the biggest one. Okay. But our TI score is flying and that's, I think that was going to get us, let's see, the seed spreader at 650. So we are almost there. Next episode, we should have the seed spreader ready to go. Um, and it'll probably hit about the same time Flora finishes up at 100%. So we'll come back next episode, watch that take place, and then we'll start working on uh, the seed spreader. Okay, folks. Hey, thanks for spending this time with me. This is Shino, and we'll see you next time. Take care.